So here are some things called power splitters. Um, you put power in one connector and it splits it and half of the power comes over here and half the power comes over here. And you can buy them in different sizes and stuff, but uh, they basically all do the same function. So what is the power splitter? Uh, well, it looks like this. There's incoming RF and it gets split up into two um, halves. Sometimes there's a resistor over here to balance things out. And there'll be three connectors, an in and two outs. Sometimes instead of having a resistive network in here, uh, there might be instead comes in and uh, there's a, a transformer and then it comes out like that. Anyway, there's different ways of doing it, balance and things. Um, so they, they are all different and they operate at different frequencies and stuff. Um, here are three that I own. Uh, this one's a really old one, uh, HP. It just has three BNCs. There's no markings at all on this thing. So it came as a kit, as part of a kit for something. I've measured it before. It, it operates between DC and one gigahertz. It's, a, it's all resistor. So uh, this one works fine. Um, I recently purchased this one. It's, it's a mini circuits, uh, ZFC, ZFSC, Dash 2 dash 11. It claims to be good from 10 to 2000 megahertz uh, SMAs. Uh, I somehow got this one as part of a group of stuff. Um, it claims to be 0 0.002 megahertz, interesting, uh, to 100 megahertz. Now, the specification on the data sheet says 60 megahertz, but I've measured it before and it seems to operate just fine to 100 megahertz. So, um, it's all BNC. So what I wanted to measure today, because I, I need to know this for some measurements I'm about to take, is the isolation. So if you, this is a better one to talk about. So if you come in and then you split, that's one thing. And there's a loss because half of it's going this way and half of it's going with this way. So you can measure the loss. Um, but you can also measure what's the crosstalk between these two ports or what's the isolation between these two ports. If there's something over here, um, can this one hear it or not? Um, so I want to measure those two things, uh, the actual insertion loss and then the um, isolation, which was the more important thing for me. Um, so let's measure, let's measure those things on these three different, uh, three different devices. So let's start with this one since it's all SMA'd. Uh, we'll go over to the uh, Nano VNA, which we'll be using to make the measurements with. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is measure the insertion loss. Uh, we're not going to be using one of the ports, so we're going to block that port with a 50 ohm load. All right, so uh, we're going to go in here and come out here and see what it does. So channel zero on your Nano VNA is the output. So we'll put that here. And then the uh, uh, channel one is an input for the nano. So we'll put that on channel on one of the split ports. And we'll take a look. And uh, we're measuring uh, S21 log mag. Um, that's the blue trace. Um, and we're getting about minus 3.4 dB. So that, that makes sense. 3 dB loss in each side, 3.4 loss in each side. Okay. All right. So now we're going to measure the isolation. So uh, doing that, we're going to put our 50 ohm load on what would be the input. And we're going to input on one side and measure on the other side. So channel zero is now going into this split over here and there we go. So we have about a minus 16.7 dB uh, isolation between the two. All right. So that's pretty good. Uh, minus 16. All right. All right. So I think you get the idea now. So let's go ahead and measure. Oh, which one do we want to measure? Let's measure this one. Okay. We're going to measure the, uh, HP, I'll need some adapters. So I'll put adapters on here to change BNCs into SMAs. 
and I'll block the other part with a 50 ohm load. And so we're going to measure the insertion loss. We're going to go in here and out here. So channel zero goes on the input. And channel one goes on the output. And this one should be a resistive load. So well, there we go, minus minus 5.87 dB and very, very flat. So the resistive ones are about a 6 dB loss, a uh, factor of two. Um, or is that, see this is power. Oh, so factor of, yeah, so factor of uh, four, right? Two and two. So that is the, Insertion loss, 6 dB. And now we'll measure the isolation. So we'll move our load to the input. And now we'll be measuring across the, uh, the, two, the two outputs. And let's see what that looks like. This connectors. Need some oil on it or something. It's not. Oh, there we go. It's BNC is spinning. Okay. And the isolation is minus 11.7. And it's a little worse over here. It's about 10 and a half over here. So yeah, isolation is not very good on this one. And um, let's measure last one. So this is the last one. It's a mini circuit. So we will measure the insertion loss Put in here and we'll go, whoops. Whoa, what's going on? Now remember this one only works between zero and a hundred megahertz and we're sweeping between zero and a, a, a thousand megahertz. So uh, obviously it doesn't work over here. <laughs> So let's change our stop to 100 megahertz. There we go. So it's very flat and it's minus 3.7 dB. And let's measure the isolation. So I'm going to put the uh, load on the, what would have been the input and we'll measure from one to two. And yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So this one has really good isolation. So it's worse to right there and it's still minus 23 and a half dB. So this is definitely the splitter I want to use if I want to separate the two signals. It's not going to lose much power uh, splitting it. And then uh, the isolation between ports is very, very good. So that's what, uh, that's what a transformer based design or a ballon based design does for you instead of the uh, resistors. It has really, really good isolation. So, um, if people are interested in things like this one, uh, let me read, let me read you the part number for it. Oh. Uh, it is a ZSC-2-2. Uh, Many circuits.